Hi, Kevin from Green Brothers Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO. We talked briefly on the phone earlier, and I told you I'd send you this video over to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. So, Kevin, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste mine. So, if I'll try to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you want to hear more info, you know, I'll leave my number. We can set up a time to call. If not, then take these tips I'm going to give you and strategies today, and you could apply them to your website also. So the first thing we'll talk about today is content. I'm on your homepage right now. I can see that you guys, you know, have some projects that you've done there. That's a huge roof. Um, and it looks really good. You talk a little bit about your company, your services. Let's see, why choose us? I like that. You also have kind of the introduction, you know, to your to your um, you know, your brothers and whatnot, which is cool. And at the bottom you have your contact info. One thing I would recommend is on your homepage especially, I would try to have more content. I would try to have over a thousand words personally on my homepage. And the reason that we want so many words of content is the more words of content that you have, the more keyword phrases you can put into that content. So just as an example, I used Roofing Weymouth MA. I know it's an area that you guys do service. So if you do, if you put this into any Google search, you're going to get these ads showing up first. And this is, this is pretty common with almost every single search you'll do. These are the older ads. Um, they're, they're pretty good, but you will get some tire kickers with those. But these are the new Google guaranteed ads. And these ones, you're, they're more verified. You know, they're kind of qualified. So people that are calling off of those, you know, you will get people looking for roofing jobs sooner than later, not people looking in a year, for instance. And it will also drive some traffic to your site and help with your ranking as well. Um, after the ad section, you're going to find this map section. The top three companies are going to show up in this kind of preview screen. And this is all based on citations. So citations are when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, just to name a few. And after that, then we have our organic section. This is where you start seeing companies' names show up with their websites. So if we were ranking this uh, keyword here, Roofing Weymouth MA, number one would be the Better Business Bureau. Number two would be Yelp. Number three would be Home Advisor. So these are all directories. Number four would be Olin Roofing. And number five would be Anthony's Construction and Roofing. And there's 10 results more ads. Um, so just remember that there's 10 per page because so that means if you want to be on the first page of any search result, you really have to get in the top 10 uh, for that keyword. So what I did was I took your site, uh, greenbrothersroofing.com, and I plugged it into a program called Eris. And what this program does is it allows me to uh, kind of analyze what's going on with your site behind the curtain here. So typically here, you're gonna see a little circle with a number in it. And you'll also will have a, a ranking on this program Eris. So right now, you guys don't really have enough data to even show this will be your local trust in the area. And then this right here, the DR, this would be another wheel. And this will also be, um, this will be your power behind your site. So when I show you another uh, company's site, you'll see this. But for right now, um, you know, I just want to explain a little bit. So then what you normally would see here as well, so this is the referring domains. These are other websites on the internet. And these have links back to your page. So this one referring domain that you guys do have right now is sending you back 13 links to your page. And you guys did lose one, it looks like, recently. You guys right now do have three keywords on your page and the keywords are what really drive the visitors to your site. And right now, unfortunately for you guys, you're not averaging any visitors to your site per month. This is on a monthly basis. So we can actually do and I'll quickly do it because I, I know there's only three here. and We're not really getting too much off it, but we can look at what your keywords are. So um, Right now you have Green Brothers Landscape in there. Not as relevant, obviously, to what you guys are doing with the roofing. Um, but 30 people do still search this every single month. And you guys for this one are in position 38. So remember that there's 10 per page. This is going to put you at the bottom of page 4. Uh, just Green Brothers in general, it does have huge volume. Um, the only problem with something like this is even though it would bring a lot of people to your page, it probably wouldn't be that helpful because they're not, I'm sure there's other companies with similar names. So I'm sure, and this is also a nationwide search. It's not just Massachusetts or, you know, New England. So you're going to get people that you can't help. and It's going to kind of be frustrating. 
So you are 61 for that one. So I don't really, you don't really have to worry about it right now because you're not getting any traffic from it, but that would put you at the top of the seventh page. Um, and then we do have just your name, Green Brothers with no space. 40 people search that a month, 54 for that one. All right, so I'm gonna jump over and I, I went ahead and took Olin's website. They're probably one of your biggest competitors in a lot of the, um, you know, along the coast there. They do, they are in a lot of towns and they really do kind of, uh, have a lot of the Boston keywords as well. So Olin, you can see here, here's the little circle I was telling you about. This is their local trust with a 24. This is their power behind their site with a 12. And they have 126 referring domains, sending them back almost 400 links to their page. They can be found right now for over 2,000 keywords. And that's really driving over 1,000 people to their site per month. So we can actually go ahead and take a look at theirs as well and see where they're coming from here. All right, so you'll see their name showing up, number one, Olin Roofing, and you'll see different variations. This one has the apostrophe. This one does not, does not. You'll see different spaces as well. So Olin Roofing alone, though, does bring in 300 people search this every single month, and they're in position one, so they're the first result that shows up. So what that really means is they're getting almost all that volume. When you have your name ranking, that's people that are basically searching for your name which means that's kind of your repeat business and referral business. So you really do want to retain that. You don't want to lose it to a competitor because you're too far back. And then you also want to have a balance of keywords that have bring in new customers. So as I told you, Olin does have a lot in Boston. So they have Boston Roofer, 150 people do search this every month and they're in the first position. And then they have uh, Roofing Massachusetts, 100 people do search this one every month as well. Again, number one. Roofing Boston MA, number one. Roof Boston, number two. And uh, what I could do quickly is just go ahead and put Weymouth, since that was our example. I can just go ahead and put that in the search and we'll bring up all the keywords for that. So they have uh, contractors, Weymouth MA. They only have a couple really. And then there's 10 people that search every month and they're 48, so they're actually not ranked that well for that one. It's probably the reason that they're ranked so high for the one we did was based on some other um, kind of contributing terms. All right, so that's just a little bit about content citations and backlinks. I think you guys can kind of take a look and see, um, you know, the traffic that you are missing. Cause like I said, you're not getting any visitors to your site as is right now. So definitely need to do a little work on that. Um, and you know, when you compare that to Olin, who's getting over a thousand visitors and granted they are in a pretty big area. You know, even if you rocked one of those keywords and we could get you in the top three for it, you know, those are gonna bring in about a hundred a pop if you can get in the top three. Um, so, you know, that, that would make a big difference, or even if we got two to get you 100, right? So here's my number if you want to talk some more. Like I said at the beginning, you know, there's no obligation here. If you guys are not interested and you're happy with where you're at, then definitely go ahead and take the tips and strategies I did give you today. And you guys could go ahead and apply them to your site also. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to hearing from you.